This is video two in the three-part series. Remove a governor, modify custom exhaust and intake, and put it on a really fast mini biker go-kart. Anyway, I call this the Bronda engine. What I'm doing here is creating a custom intake and exhaust for a Briggs and Stratton flathead engine and putting a Honda carburetor on it. So I had to use the gaskets from the old Briggs and Stratton flathead engine and trace them out and cut them out with my plasma cutter to adapt to the engine as well as the carburetor. So there was a little bit of fine tuning I had to do after I used the plasma cutter to get it just right. And the old uh, carburetor right there is about on a 15 degree angle. So I mimicked that angle for the intake and cut it on a 15 degree angle because the intake and exhaust are pretty squished close together. So. This part is my favorite part, uh, TIG welding. What I'm doing is I'm back purging the inside of the exhaust with my dual flow meter to prevent sugaring of the weld on the inside. So I just add a little bit to tack it. I'm just putting it on a very small amperage in very, very small circles to get a thin weld, just the, the same thickness of the metal, that's flat on the outside and flat on the inside. That'll create a really, really good looking exhaust. So. I measured my exhaust, wanted it, you know, about eight inches long, cut it off, and then I mimicked that 15 degree angle right there, tacked it into place, and then welded up the flanges. So after I was done welding, I noticed they were kind of warped, so I just put them on a flat surface and put it on some sandpaper to flatten them out. So as you notice, there's a little bit of discoloration from welding, so I'm going to polish it up. I'm using a white polishing compound and a denim wheel on bench grinder to polish and it looks really good. I'm doing the same thing on the intake. As I was doing it, um, I was pretty much done and I was doing the edges and then I'm like, well, man, okay, now I'm really done. So uh, there's the end result and man, that is shiny and that's going to stay shiny just like that. So there's the uh, Predator 212 or Honda Clone carburetor and that's the choke lever. As you notice, it can come off so I got a custom uh, high flow adapter and it came with this little bracket uh, air filter and adapter and I put a little spring on it for the throttle so that kind of helped um, I'm still trying to figure out the, the throttle but you know it started on the first pull that's why I put the Honda carburetor on there adjusted it to idle and then this thing you hear that? that is the sound of a really fast mini bike or a really fast go kart this thing is going to haul butt so, there you have it. I also put in a new E-tube and a new carb so I can get some nice power out of it. But, that's about it. So if you like this video, you know, comment, rate, and subscribe. But, this is just something I, I wanted to do just because I can, not because I should. But, it's a Bronda engine. Briggs and Stratton engine and a Honda carburetor. Custom intake and exhaust.